we, with our co-investigator, uh, Dr. Demeter Dimitrov in his laboratory, uh, began to generate specific binders and then chimeric angiogram receptor specific for IL-1 RAP. And as we're doing for rhabdomyosarcoma sarcoma with Ewing sarcoma, we wanted to validate these new binders in the CAR-T format uh, to target Ewing sarcoma. So again, we created chimeric angiogram receptors, transduced them into human T cells, and showed they were highly active against Ewing sarcoma cell lines. So like the FGFR4 CAR T cells, um, the IL-1 RAP specific T cells for Ewing ran into similar barriers. Both of these tumors, when we give them in the muscle of the, uh, of the animal, which is a mouse, uh, immunosuppressed mouse, they create a very thick tumor stroma. We see lots of uh, CD11B positive, a lot of tumor associated macrophages forming a thick ring around these tumors, which is what we see uh, in the human disease as well. So when we give the chimeric angiogram receptor modified T cells, whether it's in the IL-1 RAP setting for Ewing sarcoma or in the FGFR4 specific CAR T cell for rhabdomyosarcoma, sarcoma, we come into the same problem. The T cells enter the system and they become what is called immune excluded. They become associated with this thick tumor stroma, with the collagen, with the myeloid cells that are sitting there around the tumor, but they have a very tough time infiltrating the tumor. Um, this seems to be a universal problem with the pediatric solid tumors. To get around this, we tried to do something which a lot of people have suggested in the past. Why don't you just inject the CAR T cell straight into the middle of the tumor? And, you know, that's always an offhand way of saying, well, you just have a problem with the CAR T cells getting that. Well, what was interesting when we did that is that the T cells left the tumor, went to the stroma. So it's actually a chemotactic uh, uh, process that's happening because of that immune excluded. Because when we think of immune excluded, we think of preventing entry. But actually, it's more like immune attractive stroma so that the T cells are much more interact uh, interested in interacting with the myeloid cells than actually entering and killing the tumor cells. So now the lowest bar for these solid tumor models is to give an IV instead of intramuscular challenge. And there you get disease that first lodges in the lung and then will slowly distribute. Now we have some effect against these uh, the, in the FGFR4 rhabdomyosarcoma if we go IV. And so the uh, purpose of the FGFR4 studies was to create a better CAR T cell. And so we made one that binds a more proximal membrane domain of FGFR4. And likewise, uh, we showed that it's highly active in vitro and it's active in this, in this lung model. But again, it wasn't able to overcome the challenges. Now, the, one of the main challenges for these pediatric solid tumors is unlike uh, most of the leukemias, let's say the CD19 positive CAR T cells, there's uh, thousands of targets thousands upon thousands of targets on the surface of the tumor cell. What we found in these sarcomas is that when we introduce them intramuscularly, we have very low target cell numbers. So part of our study was to look at what those numbers actually are in the um, immunosuppressed mouse model for these sarcomas. And we're down around two to 3,000, which is right about the borderline of where you get CAR T cell activity. So our current research is to make a better CAR that's more sensitive, more highly reactive. So actually, initially, we were worried about cross-reactivity with normal tissue expression. I think actually the CAR T isn't sensitive enough. So we're increasing the signaling methods and some uh, new findings from Robbie Maisner and Crystal Makel in the Stanford group shows ways to do that by amplifying the signal transduction mechanisms of those CAR T cells. And the... Uh, other thing that we've been doing is we've been molecularly profiling the stroma itself. We're looking at what uh, soluble mediators as well as what collagen genes are being expressed by the tumor stroma. And by identifying the soluble mediators like uh, MIF, macrophage migration inhibitory factor, LIF, uh, certain uh, chemokines, we're actually going to armor our chimeric and receptor T cells so they're no longer turned off by those signals present in the stroma and can move forward into the tumor. So our next steps are going to be combine chimeric and receptor T cells with higher levels of signaling, ways to overcome the tumor stroma, and actually ways to eliminate uh, tumor-associated macrophages and myeloid-derived suppressor cells. Um, there's small molecule ways to do that, let's say with the CSF1 receptor inhibitors, and there's other uh, approaches that we're taking as well.